Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Life Stories. My name is Trent and I hope you guys are all doing awesome as always. Today we got some stories coming at you from, you probably guessed it, reddit slash I don't work here lady. So without further ado, let's get it started. Our first story of the day is titled, I don't work here, now we're closed, and I can't sell you anything now. So, I don't browse this sub often, so I don't know if this counts, because I, a 19-year-old female, do work in there, just not at 1am when our reception clearly works till 11. Don't worry, when you're off the clock, it counts as I don't work here lady. This happened last night. For backstory, my dad has a small hotel with 15 rooms and a bar slash reception downstairs, and I work there every summer. Bar and reception works till 11 which I tell every guest that checks in, along with giving them keys to the back doors, since the main entrance is locked every night. That's the same thing I said to a guy, let's call him M, when he checked in yesterday afternoon. That was only after he made a scene because our rooms are advertised to be $60 and his bill was $62 because we're obligated to pay a fee to our country for every foreign citizen that stays here. But it wasn't my first time dealing with an a-hole customer, and I just apologized, offered a free dessert, and brushed it off. Yesterday, it was 15 to 11, and I was getting ready to close. And only two tables being occupied in the bar were one with three of my friends and one with five guys that work across the street and are regulars. I like them because they're nice and tip well, and they like me because I often let them pick the music, so we're friendly. So when they told me that one of them just became an uncle and they wanted to celebrate and stay a little longer, I said sure, and gave them two beers each in advance, and they paid for them. Nothing in town works past 11 because the last corona measures have not been lifted yet, so they had nowhere else to go. My friends weren't in a hurry and they said they would stay too, and I poured myself a beer and everyone paid. I closed the cash register and turned off the computer and the printer, knowing that I won't be printing any bills until morning. I also washed everything and prepared for the morning shift, except for the literal glasses we were using. I turned off the music and sat with my friends. Fast forward an hour and a half. Everything is good, and I'm having fun. I'm playing gin rummy with my friends, and those other guys are talking and having fun too. When M comes down from his room wanting to buy bottled water, and sees me playing cards. He proceeds to tell me how unprofessional and lazy I am, how he'll be sure to report to my manager tomorrow morning when he checks out, how I tried to cheat him for $2 on the bill for his room, and some other ugly stuff. Now, I don't care what he thinks. I know I was not doing anything wrong, but at that moment, I'm intimidated because a man is towering over me and yelling, and I almost start to cry. What I don't see is eight guys, three of my friends, and those other five regulars, standing up behind me, approaching, and asking him if he has some problem and why he's yelling. M calms down when he sees them, and says that there are no problems and he just wants to buy bottled water. I say that I work till 11 and it's long past it, and I can't sell anything since our cash register is electronic, and one can see at any moment at which time it was. He asks to speak with the owner, and I say that it's 1am and that he's sleeping. He's insistent, and I call my dad and tell him that a man insists on calling him since I refuse to sell him a bottle of water. M now starts speaking, interrupting me, taking the phone from my hand, and saying that I'm playing cards instead of working. And my dad says, So she's sitting in a place her family owns, having fun with her friends and making no noise? And you came in the bar that was closed? M stutters, apologizing, finishing the conversation very quickly. This morning, the guy that was working first shift says M left a huge tip and demanded that it was shared with me. The worst thing is that our tap water is fine to drink, and it's written so next to the literal tap. He later claimed he didn't know that. Hey man, you ever know somebody who's extra picky about water? I literally get down and drink out of the tap like a dog. But some people are like, No, I only require the finest filtered agua on planet Earth. Just like, buy some Aquafina, man, damn. Better yet, don't. Get a reusable water bottle and save on waste. That's what I do. Moving along, our next story is titled, Of course I really do work here. Look how I'm dressed. I took my octogenarian mother shopping. I did some research and octogenarian just means really old, basically. I walked away from her for less than a minute and met a 30-ish year old Karen and her spawn. 
So I took my mom to get some groceries and stuff at Mr. Walton's department store. This just happened yesterday. Being really nice out, I'm wearing an old and faded black t-shirt and denim coveralls that I cut the legs off for the summer. Mom is in her 80s and has a roller walker. So I push her cart and she walks beside me. I try to do the food items last so the cold stuff stays cold, but Mom insisted on starting on that side. Okay, I gave in and off we went. After the groceries were in the cart, Mom heads us over to electronics because I was telling her that Hubby and I are debating about all the Avengers movies versus getting a streaming service. Mom wanted to see the cost of the DVDs. This is where we met Karen and her spawn. I'm explaining DVD versus Blu-ray to Mom when Karen walks up and tells me she needs my help next. Mom is sitting on her walker while we're talking. I politely told her I don't work here, I'm a customer. Then I point out an employee in a blue vest. Karen says, Uh, no, you're obviously helping this old lady to buy a DVD player. I'm just telling you I'm next. Sorry, but I really don't work here and I'm shopping with my parent. Listen here, Missy, I know you work here. Now as soon as you're done with this old lady, I am next. One thing I forgot to mention, I have blue hair right now and had my hair up in two ponytails. I know I don't look like a kid, but I definitely don't look 50 either. I hate being called Missy, especially when the carbon-based life form is younger than me. If any of you have read other shopping trips I've posted, you know my mom is a very feisty Italian. My mom says, Listen, lady, open your ears. My daughter doesn't work here. Look how she's dressed. Ma'am, please, I'm just asking this girl to serve me next. The kid chimes in. Mom, she really doesn't work here. Look at her clothes and hair. Just be quiet. You wanted a switch. We're going to get you a switch. If this girl doesn't show more respect, I'll make sure we get a discount. By this point, my mom is done. In Italian, she starts cussing out this woman. My mom does not like being the center of attention, but man, if you annoy her, duck and run. Just duck and run. Sales staff finally make it over to us, since mom is getting louder the longer you let her go. Karen sees the employee and starts on how rude I am and what a horrid employee I am and I need to be disciplined for my attitude towards her. The employee looks at me, my mother, and Karen and politely, in Italian, asks my mom what happened. Mom calmly explains and refers to Karen as puta. I'm dying trying not to laugh. Karen has her say, and finally, it's my turn, and I turn to Karen. Look, I don't know who your parents are, but sweetie, I could be your mother. You teaching your kid to act like this is unacceptable, especially right now with the pandemic and places going out of business. I'm pretty sure you knew all along that I don't work here and were hoping to cause enough of a scene to get the acting manager to give you a massive discount. I'm here to tell you that that ain't happening today. Not here, not in this store. You think that just because I'm dressed in old, frayed clothes, you can pull a stunt like this? Then tell the staff that I accosted you and caused all the drama? Guess again, child. On top of your bad behavior towards me, you've caused my mother to get upset. I am so tempted right now to call the cops and have you charged with harassment and elder abuse. Karen left. Mom and I finished shopping and left. In the car, Mom says, I guess you're a little stressed today, huh? Oh my god, that was the understatement of the year. I'm not Italian myself, but I have friends who are Italian, and as such, they have Italian grandmas. I've heard the stories. Do not mess with Italian grandmas. Moving along, we got time for one more short story, and it's aptly titled, uh, no? Obligatory. This happened about a year ago. I was roughly seven months pregnant and on my way to a birthday party with my husband. We needed to make a quick stop at a grocery store to grab a card and a gift, and with a tiny bladder, I offered to waddle into the restroom and take care of the purchase. Important note, I'm wearing dark sunglasses on my head, maternity denim capris with holes in the knees, flip-flops, and a black t-shirt. The store uniform is long khakis and a royal blue polo. As I'm heading to the checkout, a man in his 30s with a young girl approaches me to ask where the frozen section is. I am absolutely dumbstruck, because one, pregnancy brain, I can hardly find my way out of a paper bag, and two, 
I have no clue how I can even remotely look like an employee. So, in my total confusion, I just stare blankly at the guy, glance down at my outfit, then back up at him. I have no idea, dude. He starts to get upset, but I tell him I need to check out. Realization sweeps his face. You don't work here, do you? Uh, no? The guy immediately becomes embarrassed and walks away. Still baffles me. Ah, yes, I guess they missed the memo of the new department store dress code. You know, maternity gear and a pregnant belly. It's all the rage these days. Sells more products. Anyway, with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time for today's episode. So I want to thank all of you so much for tuning in to another episode of Life Stories. You know the same song and dance. Like, comment, subscribe, make sure that what we got working for you doesn't get missed. My name is Trent, and I hope to see you guys soon.